Well, still tonight, four years later, and no arrest in the Delphi case. As the days continue to pass on, we keep asking Indiana State Police, are they getting any closer to a break in this double homicide case? It's been four years since the murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German, and still the voice of the suspected killer continues to haunt Delphi, Indiana. That audio clip of the killer's voice telling the girls to go down the hill was released by Indiana State Police. Investigators say Libby recorded the suspect's voice and snapped this photo on her cell phone before her young life was taken away. Tonight, the killer still on the run, being chased down by many of the investigators who've been out there since day one, like Carroll County Sheriff Tobe Lesenby. It seems like it was just yesterday when we started this thing. 13-year-old Abby and 14-year-old Libby were out on a walk on the Delphi Historic Trails on February 13th of 2017, when investigators say they were approached by this man. The girls' bodies were found the next day in the woods about a mile off of the main trail. In 2019, Indiana State Police released an updated sketch of the suspect. That composite looked nothing like this previous sketch, which had been the face of the investigation for two years. It's like, wait a minute, now we got to start all over and we got to explain why they're doing what they're doing. They've obviously received enough information on the first sketch to realize that that person isn't the right one. Several agencies still working this investigation. All of them. We're having like a team weekly meeting in Delphi. The Carroll County Sheriff dedicated two detectives in his small department to follow up on leads. It's basic footwork, legwork, so to say, phone calls. What was this individual uh, doing on February 13th, 2017? You know, were they at work? Were they traveling? For the past four years, police have served search warrants, questioned persons of interest, and received thousands of tips still no arrest. We still have those up and down days, I guess is the easiest way to put it. Now investigators have not released many details about how those girls were killed in the woods and they don't plan to release more audio or video at this time. That's because detectives say certain details have to be kept confidential so the case can go to trial. As always, if anyone has information, you can contact the Carroll County Sheriff's Department or Indiana State Police. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.